Welcome to Biomass Magazine's top headlines from the past week. I'm your host, Jacob Norderman. In Denmark, Dong Energy has kicked off the biomass conversion of the Asnes power station. The conversion process is expected to take approximately two years. Once operational, the new biomass-fired unit at the plant will have an electric production capacity of 25 megawatts and a district heating and process steam production capacity of 129 megawatts. The plant will run mainly on wood chips and is expected to be operational by late 2019. Covanta has also announced progress at two of its plants. As part of its third quarter financial results, Covanta reported that its energy from waste plant in Dublin, Ireland has begun commercial operations and is performing in line with expectations. In the U.S., Covanta's energy from waste facility in Fairfax County, Virginia is expected to resume operations near the end of the year. The Fairfax plant was damaged by a fire in February. According to Covanta, the facility is currently installing upgraded fire protection and suppression equipment. In California, Phoenix Energy has announced that two of its biomass gasification plants have received offers for power purchase agreements from Pacific Gas and Electric Co. The offers were made to North Fork Community Power and Blue Mountain Electric Co. under the Bioenergy Market Adjusting Tariff. Both projects will utilize local forest biomass as well as biomass resulting from fire threat reduction activities in the Sierra and Yosemite National Forest areas. The plants will produce electricity, heat and biochar. The UK-based Port of Tyne recently announced a record shipment of wood pellets. Bulk cargo vessel St. Demetrius delivered the shipment in October. In total, the port unloaded 62,000 metric tons of wood pellets over a five-day operation. The pellets are destined for use at Drax Power Station. The U.S. EPA submitted the final rule to set 2018 renewable fuel standard volume obligations and the 2019 requirement for biomass-based diesel to the White House Office of Management and Budget on October 31st. OMB review marks a final step before the final rule is issued. Under statute, the EPA is required to finalize the 2018 volume requirements by November 30th. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back next week with more of the biomass industry's top stories.